In this video, Yashi and I are going to teach you how to run the tale of Yatsuzuni. So, what's going to happen is you're going to end up killing all these guys. Then you're going to collect a blue spirit bow. That blue spirit bow is up on your D-pad. Um, anything that has a color attunement attached to them, any enemy, you're going to want to use the up button to shoot them. If both characters shoot them, uh, it takes the attunement clear off of them so it makes them way easier to kill um, a lot of people do not use this bow because I don't think they know exactly what it does so outside that once the attunement's off you don't use the bow you just kill them like you would kill any other regular character in the game um, so that's about it as you'll see this was a nice clean run with Yash um, He's got some great builds. I'll bring builds up later on. Probably tomorrow. I'm going to try to get to that today. Um, so I know I've had many questions about builds. and So I'm going to try to help with that. So as you'll see. We'll shoot the same characters. To take that attunement off of them. See once you've shot them with that blue bow. The attunement comes off. But it, if only one person shoots it. It only is a temporary fix. It will only turn them blue. It doesn't knock them off. Um, so that's what I would recommend. I mean, you can go full bore and you could take all day trying to fight one enemy, leaving the attunement on them if you want. I mean, whatever suits you and whatever floats your boat, I guess. It just makes it easier for everyone to run through it. So we'll move on to the next part. The next part is a three section thing. So you'll start at the top. You'll only have two guys with the two mints on them. The rest of them don't. You'll move down to the middle section, which will have uh, three attuned characters. And then at the end, you'll have a bunch. So we'll move on and get past this part of it for you guys.
So in this next part, you're going to use that spirit bow that you picked up. After you grab the curse, it gives you half-life. You're going to shoot this little blue circle that it, as you enter. It's up right between this circle. See it as it comes up. You both shoot it. Um, one person can shoot it as long as you spam up on the D-pad. Um, you do have that kind of time. All these guys will have a two minutes except for two of them. And so you just want to go to town. Hopefully with half-life. Uh, try to stick with your partner because if you go down, at least he's not running across the map to get you. Because as you're defending that circle, you don't want it to fill up. Once the guy's in it, the circle will turn red. And then you'll have a thicker pink ring as there's guys in it. And if that pink ring touch it, or completes the circle, you're going to uh, be overran, which you're going to have to start over. So hopefully you don't run into that issue or problem. Um, it at this point, you probably have enough survival experience to understand the point in the circle. There's only one to defend, so it's not that hard. You'll have two enemies at first, four in the second, uh, six, I believe, in the third. So it shouldn't be too difficult. So we'll just get through this, and I hope you enjoy the video, and I hope you uh, have learned something. If not... I hope you, it just helps you in a timely manner to get it accomplished. Well, you guys take care and have a wonderful day.